Hey little guy, I'm here to tell you that there's spoilers in this video, so be careful. Even though we are still in point five, um, I want to talk about what point six is gonna look like. So, one of the obvious things uh, that I think that I'm gonna bring up is the new uh, UI. Which, when I bring up UI, I don't mean like the stuff that's on screen right now, I mean Johnny's store, many other... Forgot I had a mod on. Okay, sorry, I'm back. So, one of the biggest things that are being changed is uh, Johnny's store and the field trips. Now, the thing with the field trips and Johnny's store is it's being changed to the pit stop. The pit stop is where you'll be able to play both of these things, and I think you'll actually be able to go to Johnny's store inside of the regular schoolhouse. Now, the pit stop is known to have three things, which is the field trips, Johnny's store, and, of course, the two green lockers. Now, the green lockers actually have one of the biggest implications for uh, later development in the game, which is basically a saved inventory. This means that you can leave items in those lockers in between the levels of floors, and they'll be saved. That's a very interesting addition to the game as well, I think, because this means that we'll be able to save our items instead of, you know, having to use them before that. Johnny's store is 3D now, so that means you won't be able to go into this. Which I'm kind of sad about. I loved the 2D style of the field trips in Johnny's store, but now that's being changed. We're gonna have to see how that works out. There will also be instances when Johnny's store is closed, which is very interesting. The campfire minigame will now be brought back, and I find that very interesting. We won't have the camping minigame where we have to do the math equations. Have you ever thought about joining my Discord server? It's a pretty great place for people that like video games to just chat and talk. And guess what? I am giving away a Steam gift card. Yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm giving away a Steam gift card. All you have to do is go over to the giveaways channel right here and click join. That's all you need to do, and then guess what? You're entered in. Stay safe and happy gambling. Something that's interesting now is... Things like the lockdown doors, the events that are called, like the countdown, will now be called out by Baldi. Actually, I think that the countdown timer is sang or said by a character that sounds like first prize, but I'm not too sure. I haven't seen too much. Apparently now Baldi will come down in a UI screen to tell you these things, which is very interesting. <laughs> You'll also be doing the same when you collect all notebooks, which which is kind of funny. So we won't have this mini game, and I'm kind of sad. Now, a jingle plays when we get all of these questions right, and I've heard that a new jingle will be playing when you collect YTP, which, if you don't know, that's what you use to buy things at Johnny's store. There will also be an affected screen that pops up when you collect those YTP. It'll be at the bottom of your screen instead of the direct middle like it what is right now. Something I forgot to add about Johnny's store now is that he'll only allow you to buy something once per run. Uh, that is when it spawns on the floor with you, so when I'm actually in the floor instead of the pit stop, you'll only be able to buy one thing. It's not like you can just sell out and buy everything to your heart's content. So that right there would have been called out by Baldi instead of just having text appear on the screen. Just want to be clear about that so people aren't confused. More interesting facts about the WD No Squee. It's actually good now. Instead of just leaving one thing, it'll leave a sparkling effect, and in range, it'll last five minutes. Any sound made in that range, Baldy will not be alerted, so you won't have the little Baldicator thing down in the corner. Something more interesting to add is the B Soda. Uh, the B Soda will now have different additions to it, which when I say different additions, I mean it'll have a completely different way of acting. There'll be a rarer B soda, which is the normal one that we know already and love. Then there'll be the new one that is called the B, <laughs> the diet B soda. Um, this one's really interesting because what it does, it has a smaller range than the normal one. The normal one goes forever and the new one will just have a smaller range. It'll act kind of like the one we already know, 
but I'm guessing it'll only go for a certain amount of time, then it'll stop working. Which I find very interesting, and I want to know how this new beast soda is going to work, because that is a very weird and interesting balancing issue. I've always thought the beast soda was a little too OP, and you can easily get out of things. Now, it'll be harder for characters and people to get out of situations. Which now, it'll actually feel like a treat when you find a Bisota, and not just an item to be excited to have. To I'd also like to bring up how porting mods is going to take so much more time now. The reason why I say this is, through all the new voice acting and additions that are being added, along with the animations, People are going to have a hell of a time reporting on their mods and re-adding textures. At least with Dr. Reflex, it was easier. And last update, it was way easier too. Because that was more of bug fixing and adding in simple things that didn't really add much, like the banana peel. And as we get closer, we see more and more big updates. And this is what I was concerned about. Mistman confirmed that 1.0 was going to be the full release. And that, of course, is obvious. But he said he was only going to go to 0.9. He wasn't going to go to 0 .10, 0 0.11, whatever. And that is really interesting to me. Because we still have a lot further to go. I, I think he still wants to add several more characters and stuff, so... It's very interesting seeing how far away we actually are to the full release. The meta is changing with Baldi's Basics with every single update, and it's very interesting seeing uh, all the new additions. If I had to put this update into one word, well, actually several words, it would be the quality of life update, because it's making things so much easier while adding in difficulty. This feels like it's more of a preparation for adding more floors to the base game rather than... Sorry, I'm freaking out right now. Got told by principal no running in the halls, now I'm shitting myself. Fuck! That's not what I wanted to do! Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're good. God, I'm so good at this game. There's a couple things I'm super sad about that we're not keeping, which is, you know, the 2D looks, the 2D style of the game, because I always thought that added more of a variety to the game, but it's fine. A lot of people hate the 2D things, but I think it's because there wasn't enough added. And you know what? It adds for a bigger scope of creativity, making it 3D. There's a lot more you can do with it, and that is completely fine. Plus, you have to learn less controls and rules, because you already know what all the rules are in 3D. Am I excited for version 0.6? Yes, I'm excited for the labor of love or the visual overhaul, whatever you want to call it, update. I'm excited, and it's coming out on the 15th. Thank you so much for watching. Become a member if you so feel like it. I think you should. It really helps me out. It helps me make this an actual job. And guess what? People that have member have seen this video over like almost a week early. A little bit more than that. That's crazy. So if you become a member, you get early access to videos. You get emojis, which is pretty cool. And you can also join streams and possibly become a member that way. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Ciao. Thanks for playing.